So you got the egg here, and not only does it have this cytoplasm with mitochondria floating around, but in addition, there's other stuff floating around in there, like transcription factors. Sperm don't have transcription factors. Sperm, all they're doing is on this like suicide swimming mission there, and they're not making any new genes. All they're doing is this one long spurt there of racing for the end. And in the case of the eggs, though, you have transcription factors. You have all sorts of proteins in the cytoplasm. You've got a fully functioning cell instead of this sort of much more streamlined version. All the transcription factors that come in a fertilized egg are coming from the mother. So what does that wind up mean? Transcription factors, those are proteins. We're not talking about genes here. We just saw how you get more genes from your mother than your father, these mitochondrial genes. Okay, but transcription factors, the father has genes for transcription factors, the mother has genes for transcription factors. What's the significance of getting your transcription factors from your mother in the fertilized egg? Okay, consider here two genes. The first one codes for transcription factor A. We know that already. Transcription factors are typically proteins, so they have their own genes all the way down. And this codes for gene X, whatever that one is. So here's what you got. There are promoters responsive to transcription factor A. Transcription factor A turns on the synthesis of the protein coded for by gene X. And in addition, transcription factor A turns on transcription factor A gene. It's a positive feedback loop where it makes more and more of the stuff. That's the way this particular transcription factor works. So suppose this is the only thing that can activate transcription of gene X. So suppose you've got some environmental event which as a result of it knocks out the activity of transcription factor X in an egg. The egg is fertilized, and as a result of transcription factor A not being expressed, it doesn't express more. This is the only thing that drives more expression, and you never make gene X. Now, somewhere along the line in your body, you are soon making eggs, which contain these genes, of course, but where you have never expressed transcription factor A because this was knocked out in the egg. So because of that, you never express gene X. And that egg gets fertilized, and you pass on that trait to your offspring. You pass that on, this acquired trait of transcription factor A not working. If this is the circuitry that you have, it doesn't matter which version of gene X you get. You are never going to express that gene for generations and generations forever if this is the loop. What's going on here, what a lot of people think is relevant, are some environmental toxins that are known to disrupt the activity of certain transcription factors. And what that does is induce heritability in a non-genetic way of non-expression of a gene. The gene's being inherited, but it will never, ever be expressed. What have you just acquired? A Lamarckian trait. You remember Lamarck. Everybody learns about Lamarck in order to mock him viciously. And Lamarck had the notion that the way evolutionary change works, the way inheritance works, is you experience something and it causes a change in your body. And as a result, you pass on that acquired trait to your offspring. Ludicrous Lamarckians have been mocked and pilloried for centuries, except in the Soviet Union in the 1930s, where it gave rise to Lysenkoism, a very horrific piece of genetic history, but what you've got is this complete trashing of the notion of you acquire some trait from the environment and you pass it on to your offspring. This is Lamarckian inheritance. This is an environmental factor that knocks this transcription factor out of action, and if this is the wiring that you've got, this gene will never be expressed, and as a result, it will never be expressed in your offspring, and your grandkids, etc., all the way down. This is Lamarckian inheritance of a trait. 
And again, where the best evidence for this has been is with environmental toxins that knock out, that have some of these mutating effects in eggs. They are not mutations in a classical DNA sense, but nonetheless, they are now heritable. So that pops up also.